Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into my Knipex pliers and comparing them to my Fuji pliers. In previous videos on my pliers I have done a video on my most commonly used pliers where you see a lot of Knipex and a lot of Fuji pliers in that video and then I've done other pliers videos on specifically Knipex and Fuji and I love both of them. There are pros and cons to each um, but I do rank a lot of the Fujia stuff up there with Knipex. Fujia has been around a very long time since the early 1900s making tools or more specifically pliers and Knipex uh, being from Germany they make a phenomenal phenomenal lineup of pliers so if you haven't heard of them I don't know where you've been but Knipex fantastic very well known. Fujia not as uh, well known I believe here in the United States just because they are from Japan you don't see as many Japanese made tools here in America but personally all the Japanese tools I've used have been phenomenal very very well made and beautiful finishes uh, so that's why I like to share them in my videos because as long as you can find them here in the United States whether that be a website or wherever as long as you can find them here they are priced very reasonably now if you can't and the set that you want is you know has to be shipped from Japan you're looking at a little bit heftier price range but as long as you can find them here they are very very well priced so all of these products will be linked down in the description for you guys but I'm gonna get into the things that are great about each one and the drawbacks of one of them so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down in the comment section if you've ever used any Knipex or if you have even heard of Fujia and if you have what your thoughts are and also if you've ever used any other Japanese brand tool. Other than that, if you guys haven't, please consider subscribing. Let's get into this. So first off, Knipex being up here, this is going to be a German made uh, tool brand and they make some phenomenal pliers. Fujia, all of this stuff down here, is um, a company from Japan. So Knipex has an edge over Fujia in one aspect just because they make all of their tools there in Germany and everything they make I, that I've used has been phenomenal. Now Fujia, everything that I've used, I've been very pleased with. The drawback being not all of them are made in Japan. There are certain tools from Fujia that are not made in Japan, such as some of their screw extraction pliers, uh, Kirokin lineup, a majority of those are not made in Japan. I haven't done a review on this set yet just because I have the Knipex and I absolutely love this set of pliers wrenches um, and this one being from Fujia it's not made in Japan so I wanted to make sure to give it time and actually use it quite a bit more to make sure that it is worthy of doing a review on. Uh, now one thing I don't like about these pliers has nothing to do with the use of them. So far, the handful of times that I've used them, they've worked pretty well. No drawbacks whatsoever. The thing I don't like is this coating. It is not like a black oxide. It's like, I hate it. It feels like a chalkboard. I hate that feeling. Um, so besides that, that's my only con so far. We'll see how the strength and everything holds up as far as that. But other than that, that is really the only drawback as far as Fujia having certain pairs like these strippers, the screw extraction pliers, and certain Kirokin pliers not being made in Japan. And I'll throw up a picture of some Kirokin lineup, which is the adjustable wrenches that are not going to be made in Japan, as well as these. But another thing to pay attention to is not all of them are outsourced. Some Kirokin are made in Japan like this set right here and I'll throw up a picture of some of the pliers uh, from the Kirokin lineup that are made in Japan but it's really easy if you just go to the Fujio website and you literally click on whatever pliers you're interested in you can zoom in and you can easily see on each photo it says made in Japan for those pliers and the ones that don't are not so Fujia has a lot of plastic cutting uh, flush cuts such as these over here they have a wide variety now when you get into their white handle for some reason they have a wide variety of different colors on their handles the white handles as far as all of them that I looked at I think there's like eight pair I looked at six of them and none of them said Japan but these are 
by far my favorite flush cuts of all time. They cut extremely well. And the great thing about this, as I've mentioned in every video that these have been involved in, is the catcher on the backside. They have these metal tabs that actually, when you cut the zip tie, it catches the portion of the zip tie that you just cut off. So it doesn't go flying and it's really easy and they flex for different size zip ties. So a really nice, nice set of Japanese made flush cuts. And then I have a larger pair here as well. It is spring loaded. You can remove the, the spring, but they're larger for your much larger uh, zip ties and plastic materials. It easily cuts through plastic hangers. So stuff that size, it's no problem. Done it in some videos and these things are phenomenal. Once again, uh, made in Japan. And all of these products will be linked down in the description. And here you can just see the quality, the finish on these actual Japanese made tools are phenomenal. So other than that, they have a wide variety of plastic flush cuts. They have a wide variety of diagonal side cutters. This is the only pair I have of their diagonal side cutters, but they have a really big lineup. And this one has a crimping portion at the bottom. I've actually been mainly using these instead of my Knipex that I normally use just to see how they perform in the long run. And over the last six months, they've held up very, very well. The handles are easy to clean. Uh, I just use brake clean most of the time, lightly on a rag and wipe them down. Works really well. Once again, still the finish is holding up really well. I don't really use the crimping portion, but I do have a pair that has that. You can get it without, but once again, a great set of diagonal side cutters. And then they have a large lineup of long nose pliers. Now they have a large lineup of long nose pliers, but their largest are six and a quarter. So these are their largest pairs. So not really all that long when compared to the Knipex, but still some phenomenal uh, long nose pliers. They do not have long reach pliers though. So like the Knipex having these long reach pliers, Fujia does not have something of that lineup. Other than that, they have a wide variety of their lineman pliers as well of all sizes. And I don't really use lineman pliers in what I do. Um, I do have two pairs of lineman pliers just because if I do need them, they are handy to have. They're just probably my least commonly used pliers. Uh, but these are still some f fantastic pliers. They have a crimping portion down here, some diamond polished uh, cutters here, an open jaw and some teeth up front. And then they are uh, black oxide coating here, which protects them from corrosion and everything. I do like the grips on all of the Fujia stuff. They have uh, various different materials, whether that be a grit rubber, this type of like rock or earth texture. They have a smooth grip rubber and then this textured or knurled plastic or rubber as well. So they have a wide variety of different handles, but all of them I find comfortable. So that is nice. Not saying that there's anything wrong with the tools that aren't made in Japan. They still work very well, but you can definitely tell that they just aren't up to the same level of craftsmanship or design as the Japanese made ones. Just the finish on any of these Japanese made tools are just extremely clean and uh, attention to detail and quality control is definitely there on the Japanese made stuff. So I haven't had any issues with the Japan, Japanese made stuff or the non-Japanese made stuff, but you can definitely tell the quality difference between the two. Now, another area where Knipex shines over Fujia, not just because all of their stuff is made in Japan, you also have a much bigger variety of tools. So I just have a few pair of the Knipex lineup. I have these small adjustable ones, which are actually really handy, believe it or not. I have the pliers wrench, which is probably some of my favorite pliers now. I have the Knipex Cobras, very, very well known. Some long nose pliers, a couple different sizes of the diagonal side cutters. And here you can see the quality as well. So you can see how just in the finish alone, Fujia does have really good craftsmanship there. So when it comes to the Japanese made stuff, I do believe it's right there with Knipex. It's worked wonderfully and I'm extremely happy with it. I also have some angled nose, long nose pliers, 
And then I have the long reach needle nose pliers. These are fantastic. I don't use them a whole lot, but they are extremely handy when I do use them. I also like all the open jaw features, the splitter and all of that. So these are really nice as well and pretty affordable when you buy them together. And then some miniature bolt cutters, which I absolutely love. These things are very, very handy to have. I never thought I would use a set of miniature bolt cutters this much, but I use these pretty often, way more often than I ever thought I would. So my overall thoughts, Fujia, fantastic Japanese made tools. Just keep your eye out to make sure that if you're looking for their Japanese lineup, that you get the actual stuff that's made in Japan and you're not going to be disappointed. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be disappointed with the non-Japanese stuff, but when you expect Fujia good quality uh, tools, you're going to want to look at the Japanese made stuff. And then as far as Knipex, they have everything made in Germany and they have a wide variety of pliers. So overall, I still think Knipex is my favorite brand, but I think Fujia is right there along with it as far as their Japanese made stuff. Now I've only had a lot of these pliers six months or so, but like I said, I've been very, very pleased with them. If you guys have ever used any of the Fujia made stuff, let me know, drop it down in the comments of your guys' thoughts. And uh, obviously if you're looking into stuff like this, you most likely heard of Knipex and probably own some. So let me know your guys' thoughts on those and some of your favorite pliers from them. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If there was any information that I forgot to give, please drop it down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Other than that, I know I didn't say any part numbers or really any details on individual pliers because we'd be here forever, but all of these products will be linked down in the description for you guys. And other than that, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.